Oh, hey guys, welcome to Friday here on Vlogging Life. You're watching this on Saturday, I know, it's pretty frigged up, but that's how I roll. Anyway, uh, today I was going to head over to Crappy Tire and see about getting one of those exercise bikes that I talked about in Flyer Day, but turns out those sons of bitches like to advertise things that are already sold out. Friggin' dicks. See what I mean? There it is right there, the Weslo Pursuit 3.2, uh, whatever, R recumbent bike. And you're like, oh, that's a sweet deal, let's go check it out. And you're like, oh, wait a second. Wait a second, there's none in stock. Oh, ain't that freaking lovely. Yeah, yeah, they don't even stock the freaking thing. Put it in the advert and don't stock it, sons of bitches. Oh, but they have this one here for two thirty nine, which is almost a hundred bucks more in stock. Oh, is that their plan? Basically bait you in on the friggin' one hundred and sixty dollar bike, but then make you buy a two hundred and forty dollar bike? Because they don't stock the shit? That's what I'm thinking they're doing. I could be wrong, but I'm probably right. The old bait and switch friggin' nonsense. What a bunch of bullshit. So they can go frig themselves. Also, I was woken up today, oh, got a fart. That sounds like I might have to have a shower, but um, I got woken up today by the postal uh, office there. Uh, post uh, post guy showed up at the door with a package. It was the shirts I ordered from Spreadshirt to replace a lot of the old holy shirts. Shows up and he's like, "All right, uh, I just need your ID and uh, you need to pay the duties." And I'm like, "Duties?" And they're like, "Yeah, uh, you owe us ninety dollars in customs." And I'm thinking, I bought six shirts. They came up to. $95 and you want me to pay $90 in customs fees guys like oh I don't know what you bought but I'm just saying this is what it is and I'm like that's horse shit see there's this little thing in play called NAFTA it's like the North American Free Trade Agreement where theoretically you shouldn't be paying taxes on clothes let me show you this little I, I told the stuffs about it and he was like dude that's not right because of this and let me just get the link going up on the guy and right here Canada customs duty rates tariffs and taxes so on so forth right you come down here and right there category 2 clothing footwear it's a 0% from the US 5 plus GST HST depending on the reason why they say 5% plus is depending on what province you live in that's the, um, the the tax you pay. Like for instance, here in Ontario, it's a thirteen percent HST tax. So I'd pay thirteen percent on ninety five dollars. I believe is what I paid for the shirts. So thirteen percent of ninety five dollars is not ninety dollars. Last time I checked, that's like ninety five percent. Theoretically, I should have had to pay maybe maybe ten dollars, maybe eleven dollars worth of taxes, not ninety fucking dollars worth of taxes. So I told the guy I wasn't going to pay, and he said, "Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to bring this here to the post office. You have five days to come in and pay for it, and claim it. And if you fail to do so, it'll be sent back, and uh, basically you're out of luck." So what I need to do is get in touch with some dick over at the friggin' shipping office and figure out what the fuck's going on. And get shit, you know, f figured out because I ain't paying no fucking shipping taxes. That's that's nonsense. What the hell? What in the freaking hell is going on? I almost want to shut the Spreadshirt site down for frig's sakes. This is the kind of bullshit we're going to have to go through. And it's not even Spreadshirt's fault. It's the friggin' border dicks that are trying to screw everybody over. Freaking money profiting gluttons. Like, go frig yourself. So I'm not exactly sure what process I have to go through to get this here all fixed up and stuff. They don't really say anything at all about what to do when you're being charged uh, not properly. So let's see what happens if I click on the Canadian calculator. Uh, I'm going to try out something here and we're going to see what this says. Okay, a quick test of the lapel mic to see how my audio sounds while there's background noise and we'll see what happens. So right there, you got the Canadian duty estimator. So in Ontario, categories of apparel, men's clothing, pants, jeans, shirts, t-shirts, NAFTA, and then because uh, it was made in the USA, cost of products including sales tax, $95. So you scroll down and it's $131 CAD paid, 
$17 GST, which is something I should have to pay at the post office. And that should be the grand total right there in CAD, but I should only have to pay $17. Notice how it says duty is zero? That's because that's what it should be. Someone's scamming me. I don't friggin' like it. I'm going to raise stink at the post office. I'm probably going to get kicked out. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Like, are you freaking serious? $90 in duties? You can go frig yourself, Canada Post, you bunch of fucking pigs. This is the reason why I stay off eBay.com. And also the reason why I don't order things from the U.S. Because Canada Customs, they're, they're just stupid. They screw people over all the time. They pull bullshit like this all the time on things they shouldn't be doing. What in the frig? So I'm going to have to raise stink at the post office tonight. It's not going to be pretty because I'm probably going to go in there all hot-headed and want to friggin' just punch someone out. So just got to keep my cool, I guess. Sons of bitches. Anyway, as you can tell, it's bright as frig in the room right now because it is currently daytime. I was thinking about heading over to Sobeys and picking up some, uh, some shit to make some uh, sushi rolls tonight. California rolls. I've been dying to try it. Just never got around to it. Always wanted to make sushi rolls because I love sushi. I love going to that restaurant, uh, Aroides, uh, where you can just order all the sushi rolls you want. And I figure, you know what, if I can bang that shit out at the house, that'd be better. And I got the rice cooker downstairs. I know how to make the sticky rice. Uh, I just need the nori, which is the seaweed, and crab meat, uh, so maybe an avocado, some cucumber, and then I can make my own freaking California rolls on the cheap. I got all the proper rice downstairs too. I just gotta friggin' get the nori and the other crap. And yeah, I even got a bamboo rolling mat, so we are pretty much set. Just need the nori. I don't have any seaweed. It's the way she goes. Sir, he always sleeps right there on that step. But um, I start coming downstairs and he does this little stretchy thing and then he goes down. He's such a bobby. But um, I really want another coffee. Because, uh, Kitan? No, not because Kitan. Because uh, coffee's great. And as you can tell, I only got three coffees left from my Christmas present from the parents. They gave me uh, some Keurig K cups from the uh, Donut House Variety. They're actually really good. Uh, pretty much tastes like a, like classic Hortons. Especially the cup I got brewing right now, the one with the brown lid. Now they're all different. They're different flavors of coffee, but not really. They're all donut house, but they each have their own kick to them. I find the orange ones taste like country style, which is not too bad. I'm not a fan of country style, but some people are, and if they are, they can have the orange kind. But I'm a big, big fan of the brown label ones because they taste like Hortons, but not really because they're close. But you know, not you know, whatever. I don't know if you guys can see this, but snow a massive flakes out again. Because we totally need more snow, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure we don't. So this Sunday, I'm going to head over to my brother's house. And i got to fix his computer. He's been trying to do some recording on it. And it's having some issues with the plug-in. Mainly the ASIO for all. And I'm going to fix that up for him. And in turn, he's going to show me how to write a proper resume to get me a new job. Because, let's face it, I need a job. I'm fucking bored. And some extra cash would be kind of nice to have, too. Hey, right, guys. Well... It's a little after seven. I just tried to start my car with the other fob and it wouldn't start. I think the fob's fucked. So I gotta grab my other keys. My good keys. Which are in my pockets. And see if I can get the car to start with these. This is ridiculous. Shut up, Oreo. Fucking barking for no reason. There we go. Don't know what's going on with the other fob. I figure what we can do is we can take a run over to uh, the post office. I just got to check that thing to see exactly when I got to uh, go over there. The card, it says tomorrow after one. Fuck sakes. Okay, so tomorrow after one, we're going to the post office and losing our shit. So that's awesome. I guess what we'll do today then is we'll go to Sobeys only and pick up the stuff to make California rolls or sushi rolls, if you will. So that'll be kind of fun, I guess. We'll do that tonight, and then tomorrow after 1 o'clock, we'll go to the post office and bitch them out for breaching the free trade agreement. Fucking sons of bitches. Trying to get money, more money than they 
they deserve. You already pay shipping. You shouldn't have to pay extra, especially when there's only taxes to be paid. It doesn't make sense. So, deal with them sluts tomorrow. And yeah, I ain't paying that. No, like I said, I pay. I bought the shirts for ninety-five dollars, and they're saying here. Uh, nowhere on here does it say amount due. Nowhere on here does it say amount due. It would say it right here on the back. Amount due, and there's no number written there. I'm starting to wonder if that cocksucker was trying to weasel money out of me now. What a fucking prick. So all I need is the rice vinegar. Apparently the rice I have is no good. You gotta use sushi rice. So we're gonna grab that. Uh, make sure I got my wallet. Yes, I do, and we are good to roll. Fuck is this? Oh. And we are good to roll. So, get my shoes on, let's get out there, clear off the car. I brought my lapel mic. We're gonna try you guys in the window with the lapel mic. Just another glorious night. Oh, what do we got here? Fiber op, Capital One credit card offer, blah, 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 nothing interesting. Okay, so we should be able to clear the driveway. Not that big of a deal. The car's frozen stiff, but... Oh, Jesus Murphy. Okay, I'm gonna get cleaning up the car and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Alrighty, well, we got the uh, lapel mic on. Let's see if this works any better. Yeah, I didn't realize I had to go tomorrow to pick it up. Really wish the guy would have told me that, but I guess he was in a hurry to get the frig out of there to avoid any problems. I don't know, every time I've ordered shirts from Spreadshirt before, I've never had to pay the duties, and this is the first time I had to, so that's kind of messed up, but whatever. You're also probably saying, hey Adam, how come you never went to uh, Sobeys today during the day when the sun was out? The reason for that is because there's gonna be a lot of people there. I'm hoping now, I guess I gotta set my clock in my car. It says it's four o'clock right now. And that's not the case. It's about seven, but uh, yeah, I just um, figured it'd be a little bit more dead tonight. So I should be able to get in, get my shit and get out. Shouldn't be any, uh, any hard problems here. I guess we'll have to wait and see exactly what transpires during the whole transaction. Hopefully I can get the shit, and we can make the sticky rice right, and then we can uh, friggin' make some awesome California rolls for dinner. I'm gonna do crab meat avocado, and maybe if they got any sushi grade salmon on sale, maybe salmon and cucumber. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what they have. Oh yeah, and I gotta buy some soya sauce because I'm out, so that's another thing I need to get. The reason why I'm going to Sobeys is because I know they have the shit there for sushi. I'm anxious to see how well this camera does at night with that googly eye thing on the front. You know, it seems to be holding focus when I peer over at the monitor every once in a while, so that's a good sign. One thing is, is this camera is a fuck ton heavier than the Panasonic. So I'm actually kind of impressed right now that uh, it's sticking to the windshield and not falling off because honestly, Hot and cold weather changes from the uh, the heater causes that suction cup to let go just a little bit sooner. So yeah, that kind of sucks. But yeah, going to my brother's house this Sunday, so that should be fun. Go over there, hang out for a bit, fix his computer. He's gonna show me how to write a resume. Like I said, I haven't written a resume since 1990 when I got the job at Walmart, and I worked at Walmart from '96 till 2000. 2001 and then I worked Staples 2001 till March 2002 and then I got the job at Ontera working there from 2002 to 2015 and I was released last year as of December 14th yes and the only job I needed a resume for was Walmart. Like my buddy was a manager over at Staples. I went in one day and he said, hey man, what are you doing for money? And I said, working. And he said, where are you working at? Boom, I said, I'm working at Walmart. He's like, oh, what do they got you working there? Electronics? I'm like, no, 
They got me in store standards. Basically, I go outside and I collect freaking shopping carts. It sucks. But it pays the bills, so what can you do? And he said, well, what you can do is, is you can grab one of these red shirts and start working today. And I'm like, what, you're giving me a job? And he goes, yeah, we need somebody good in computers. And uh, I remember Dad and I were there because Dad needed, um, Dad needed something. I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was ink for the printer or some nonsense like that. I can't remember. But he needed something, and my buddy Jamie was working that night, and he got me the job on in computers. And man, that job, even the, it paid more than Walmart. I was making nine bucks an hour there, where at Walmart I was making seven dollars and twenty-five cents an hour. But the job at Staples was fun. Like, and I could I could work all the hours I wanted to. Like, I was going to college, right? So let's say I had class from ten till two. Well, I could, I could sit there and go in and say, hey, man, it's uh, 2.30. You guys, I could just go in on my shirt and be like, do you want me to punch in? They'd be like, give her. And i just punch in and start working. I used to put in so many hours. There's so many overtime hours. I would work like 60, 80 hours a week sometimes just because the job was fun. And there was perks to doing a good job, too. Like, the better job you did, the more rewards you got. And the rewards were, were like, for every uh, 10 warranties you sold, you got $25 certificate to use at Staples on any merch in the store. So I used to sit there and like, I built a computer with that, with those certificates. I literally, well, not all the computer, I couldn't get a motherboard or a processor, but like I bought all the other subcomponents, the video card, the sound card, hard drive, optical drive, keyboard, mouse, all that shit. All I had to do was get a case motherboard, CPU, and uh, no, I even bought the RAM for it through uh, those gift cards. I built a computer for like 300 bucks. That would have been $1,200 all through gift cards. They had one guy in there that was really good at selling uh, the warranty and him and I used to butt heads all the time because it'd be uh, at the end of the, each shift, they'd be like, all right, and our number one warranty salesperson is this time around is, and it'd either be me or him. And for a good stretch, once I figured out the system and how to you know, con people basically into buying the warranty, well, fuck, I became awesome at selling warranties. I was pushing those things out the door fucking fast. So he got really upset by it, and he uh, insisted on causing trouble with me, and he started causing trouble with me and the people and that because he was mad, and that's why I needed to get the fuck out of that job. You do a good job, you make people jealous, and then they start being belligerent. We're at Sobeys now, so I'm going to head her inside, get some shite, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All righty, people. We got our shit. Let's try and get the fuck out of here. I also went to the liquor store and grabbed a couple couple bottles of beer. Have tonight while we make sushi. I think I got everything I need. Um, this rice that the uh, lady suggested said it doesn't take any vinegar, salt, or any of that shit. It's just straight up rice. Do it in your rice cooker, let it cool, and then mix it and fluff it with a fork and it should be sticky as frig. So I'll take her word for it. I'll take her word for it. Not a problem. She was also one of the master chefs there, or whatever you want to call them, that cooks all the chickens. So yeah, we'll go home, we'll make some sush. Should be a pretty good dinner, hopefully. Here's hoping. I'm a little excited for it, so see if I fuck it up, if I do it right. First thing we gotta do is measure two cups of rice, fire that in with three cups of water, and then we should be go hold in. But we're gonna do one cup of rice, to one and a half cups of water because uh, I don't need to make much. I want to make like one or two California rolls tonight because the problem is is uh, you can't freeze them. You, you can't freeze a California roll. Every I, I looked it up online thinking, okay, well, I'll make like fucking a bunch tonight and then have one or two and then freeze the rest and have them throughout the week. And apparently... When you freeze them, when they thaw, the rice isn't sticky anymore and just falls right out of them. So, like, all the moisture gets sucked out of them when you freeze them. They get freeze-dried, I guess, if you will. So, that's no good. Can't be having that. So, figure we'll make some tonight. Hopefully, we can roll them right. I'm going to be honest with you right now. I've never done this before. I've only watched videos on it. And my friend Brad... Uh, I was at his house when he was making them and it didn't look too hard like the rolling technique It's uh, not too bad. So 
especially if you have the bamboo mat, which I now have. So this could be a, a fun little cooking experiment, or it could be a blatant fail. I don't know. And I'm tempted to make it a cooking with the hobo episode of making friggin' sushi. You know what? I might actually do that. I might make it a cooking with the hobo and put the before and after on the video on today's vlog. And that'd be awesome. Then I can have it air tomorrow night at 5 after the vlog goes up at 9 and then you guys can watch that. So that's the battle plan. That's what we're going to do. So while the rice is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and edit up all the video footage I have of the vlog now. And then we'll start a, uh, a fresh slate for cooking with the hobo. And we'll do uh, cooking with the hobo sushi rolls. Showing you how to prepare the rice and everything. I'll be learning. You'll be learning. I'll probably fail. Through my failure, you'll probably succeed. That's how life works. Those who can do and those who can't teach. Right now I can't, so I'm teaching. I'm going to let our beers cool down in the fridge. And we got a wee little buzz going tonight. Frig it. All I got to do tomorrow is go to the post office and yell at some assholes. So that'll be fun to do with a hangover. Bunch of friggin' thieves, if you ask me. But, I'd have. I think I might have to go back to Scratchy Wear and talk to him about making shirts and start shipping them out of the house. Because Spreadshirt is just not going to work out until they get a Canadian distributor. This NAFTA shit. If, if the Canada Post doesn't want to follow NAFTA's laws, then maybe I need to talk to my, my parliament member. <laughs> maybe I need to talk to the government and be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Fix your shit. Tell Canada Post to quit being corrupt. Like the amount of stuff I bought off of the internet through Merca and didn't get deemed. And then this thing here is supposed to be friggin' duty free because it's clothing. Just covers your tax and that's it. Doesn't make a lick a dick of sense. Oh, anyway people, I'm almost home so we'll go home. I'll show you what we got for the sushi. You'll see it again on the Cooking with the Hobo video, but uh, whatever. Whatever. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Alrighty, people, this is what we got. So I bought a new bamboo. They're only like a buck for a bamboo rolling mat. So I bought a new one because I can't remember where mine went or what condition it was in, um, or if the ex took it with her when she left. Uh, crab meat, we got a cucumber here, avocado. I got carrots in the fridge that I'm going to use the french fry cutter to cut up. We're going to make some carrots. We got the seaweed and the rice. So I guess next time you see me will be after cooking with the hobo. So until then, peace the frig out. Now that looks straight out of frickin' a china shop or a Japanese restaurant, eh? a sushi shop. Look at it. We got the crab meat, the carrot, the cucumber. That looks friggin' pro. Well, almost. Fucked up a few spots, but they're damn delicious. I already had one on cooking with the hobo, and now I'm about to kill off the rest of them. Just grab some soya sauce, because that's always fun to dip it in. And I'm going to go and eat this, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Well, guys, sushi was fantastic. Holy shit, that turned out amazing. I, I couldn't believe it. Like, that was best, basically restaurant quality. Loved it. It was, I'm full as frig, and that was only on two logs. Now, I did the math, and um, basically one cup of rice equals two logs of sushi. So when you watch the video, you're going to see I only made two logs. That's because I ran out of rice. I was going to make three, and I'm glad I didn't because... Uh, 16 pieces of sushi, or 15 I should say. No, I had 14 pieces of sushi, sorry. The one I was able to get eight out of, and the other one I was only able to get like six out of. So I had 14 pieces of sushi, and I'm stuffed. I am full. Sushi fills you up, probably all the rice in it. And I'm happy. Like, I'm not stuffed as in I can't move. I'm just stuffed as in I probably couldn't eat another bite. And I'm going to have to make that again for lunch or something. Like, I love sushi. And now that I can make it at home, like, why not make it more often? You know what I mean? Like, it's friggin' delicious. So it'd be stupid not to. Anyway, people, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut the vlog down here. It's currently 10 o'clock at night. We're probably going to play some Grand Theft Auto tonight. So I'm going to shut the vlog down, call her quits for now, and we'll carry on at a later date. So uh, probably tomorrow, most likely. we got to go get our shirts. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. Don't forget links in the description for Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And until next time, guys, 
Keep on vlogging.